Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to What Does Your Watch Say About You? Today I want to look at the Rolex Datejust and Rolex President lines and reveal what they say about the wearer. Well, does it get any more cliché than a Rolex Datejust? The Rolex Datejust steel with white gold bezel, what does that say? What does that say about the owner? It says they're middle age. That's what it says. It says they're middle age and um, they've bought a, a nice watch. Uh, I'm a great fan of the, the Rolex Datejust, but I'm afraid you can't do much to, to avoid that cliché. And that's, that's really the most unfortunate thing about the, the Datejust. Datejust is a great watch. It's a dress watch. It's also a sports watch in many ways. It's waterproof, it's very rugged, and it's, it's, it's a great looking piece. But unfortunately, it's very cliched. The only thing more cliched than a steel Datejust is a two-tone Datejust. And uh, what does that say? That says you're middle age. The, the two-tone Datejust is a, is a great bang per buck piece. But um, the, the younger collectors now have all gone for sports watches, like the Submariner, the GMTs, the Explorers, and um, the, uh, the two-tone Datejusts have been a bit unloved. And uh, unfortunately, very cliched. What does it say? Middle age, middle age, middle age. The only thing more middle age than a two-tone Datejust is a two-tone Datejust with factory diamond dial. And uh, that's, um, you know, that's... They, they're, they're the sort of the type of watch a successful real estate agent, a successful salesman would buy. Um, it's not really someone who's who saved the world or invented a um, a cure to a disease. Speaking of cliches, it doesn't get any grander than the Rolex Day Date. That's the Rolex President, the statement watch, the watch that uh, many CEOs wear when they've written their autobiography and they proudly stand on the front of their book with their hands in front to show off their chunk of gold and um, that's that's basically what the the day date is it's a successful salesman's watch it's a successful CEO's watch it's um, it's really it announces to the world that you're really not much of a watch enthusiast because if you were a real watch enthusiast you would have bought a Padak or a Vacheron that's what you would have bought if you knew anything about horology you'd want something with a fantastic movement and uh, the, the date just itself and the day date, whilst I love them and I think they're great watches, they are so cliched and uh, they announce to the world your middle age. I'm sorry, I can't, you can't avoid that there. The, the day date's been a great statement watch used over the years and uh, I, I personally, that's the reason I chose a Patek was because I didn't want to be a cliched statement and um, I'd much rather have a watch which someone appreciated for being a great piece of horology than just a big gold chunk on my wrist there. Speaking of gold chunks and uh, things that look obnoxious, the only thing more obnoxious than a day date is a Rolex Submariner in solid gold. And I had the pleasure of wearing one of these for as long as I could stand. And uh, I have to say that it's, it's one of the all-time It's loud, it's heavy, it's gold, and it stands out like dog's balls. But if you want to make a statement, the gold Submariner is certainly the watch to do it. The, um, the day date is certainly a stunner, and um, if you want to be a shouting violet, the, uh, the day date or the, uh, the gold Submariner are certainly two ways to attract attention and to, um, to, to look like you're minted so to speak, for all those viewers out there who like that minted look. The other carry-on from these watches is the female versions. And the, the two-tone Datejust applies to middle-aged women. It's also a, uh, a cliche, I'm sorry to say. And uh, it's often bought by male owners of the men's version who want to buy something for the wife there. So there we have it. That's Archie's wrap-up. The Rolex Day Date, the Rolex Datejust series. Tell me what you think. I'm Archie Luxury. <laughs>